Welcome back everyone to the Crystal Chronicles, your f official and official Final Fantasy Record Keeper podcast. My name is Pierre, this is episode 19, recorded on Wednesday, July 6, 2016. As usual, I am joined by my co-hosts, Ben and Mark. Hey guys, how are we doing tonight? Hello. Pierre, Ben, Record Keepers, how are we doing? Not too bad, not too bad. So Ben, I've come to understand that you were in a super great city last week. Oh weekend, yeah, weren't you? I was in, I was deep in a foreign land known as French Canada, where everyone speaks English. <laughs> it is true. It, I've actually met a lot of people in Montreal that do not speak French, like not one word, and they live there every day, and they seem to do well for themselves. <laughs> We were sitting in front of somebody at a restaurant, and their conversation kept flipping between English and French. And it was just very amusing to be like, "Why is this? Why is everything written in French if everyone speaks both languages?" It, it is actually a law in Quebec that you have to put any that any writing has to be uh, in if the, if you put it in both language, the French part of it has to be on top of the English version, and it has yeah, to be in a bigger font. Yeah, that I noticed too. I, but, uh, and I'm not making this up. It's a oh, real yeah. law in, in that Quebec. Makes sense. And uh, while I was in your fair city, uh, I had a decent bit of luck. After the tragedy that was uh, trying to get Razzmatazz, I was able to draw um, Bart's well, wait, Ragnarok. Wait. The tragedy yeah. in which you got Razzmatazz. In which I got it, okay. but also so became a, a broken tragedy. man, okay? Yeah, it, it, <laughs> I dare say, needing to, like, cleanse my body <laughs> was not a moral victory in any sense. But I was able to get Bartz's Ragnarok and um, Cloud's first fusion sword with um, very little uh, torture. We'll, uh, so get, we'll get back to uh, the soul breakout in a couple of minutes. But uh, first off, why don't we say we uh, go over the uh, latest Final Fantasy Record Keeper announcements. Uh, and I don't have uh, section teams yet. I will eventually get to it. I think this show needs it. That's where we're at right now. But uh, we all woke up this morning to an interesting... Uh, announcement about the uh wait i think i got it backward i think this morning it was the keeper's quiz result right yeah yeah keeper's quiz yep we so won. we got a bunch of money five mitriel three major growth eggs uh if you want to claim those prizes you need to make sure that you log into the game between right now and august 5th geez are we really in july man time flies by yeah it is july <sighs> Okay, Welcome other than summer. that, this is Wednesday, as with each Wednesday, the uh, Geisel Exchange uh, items have changed. New this, mo uh, new this week, they're introducing, uh, wait, not record spheres, but um, uh, moats. Yes. Moats. Yeah, moats. Uh, Vitali uh, yeah, so three-star moats are available for 200 greens each, and... If you're listening to this uh, on July 6th or before Ju the end of the day on July 7th, you have about 24 hours left to claim your Final Fantasy Anthology uh, items that are currently in the uh, Geisel Exchange shop. So all those rings, cloaks, and accessories, if you still haven't gotten everything you wanted, now's the time because they'll be gone probably forever after that. So make sure you do that if you haven't done so. Obviously, there's always your weekly uh, a th thousand greens mitral, which you don't want to pass on because it's like almost free mitral. Um, other than that, Dina has released a uh, Final Fantasy VII, I think it's Advanced Children, wallpaper on their Facebook page. Um, really, nothing <laughs> to call home about. <laughs> Yes. I would not be caught dead with this wallpaper on my phone. <laughs> I don't know how I, I would explain it. I will, I, will not, I will not exit out of my app then on my phone. No. Um, no, yeah, it's just the... It's it's one of the promo posters for Final Fantasy Advent Children with uh, Sephiroth, but it has a uh, Record Keeper logo on it. So, you know. I'll post a link to it in the show notes in what case is? anybody is interested. But uh, just keep in mind that you probably don't want to be interested 
It, it's not super great. It looks like it was whipped together by an intern really quickly. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> And the format, I don't know if it was just me, but I went to try and get it on my phone, and the format was just horrible. It took forever to get like the big version, and it didn't look like it was made for a phone. Hmm. But maybe they, they fixed it. Mm. <laughs> and for some reason, another thing I really like is they said, um, if you go on the Facebook page, give me a second. Um, so... De -de -de -f um, there we go. The wallpaper is available until July 15. It, it, it's an Grab image. It. Grab it now. Yeah. <laughs> what are they going to do? They're going to take it down for <laughs> take it it an image. They're going to take it off it's Facebook. Gonna purge any, yep. any remnants. If it's on your phone, control it'll go away. Alt delete. But, uh, alt delete. Yeah, they do. So what, what they didn't tell you is when they downloaded it, it puts a virus on your phone. Oh, no. They can access any of your information. Please don't scare people that way. They don't need that. Yeah. And um, what else? Oh, um, I will have a moment of uh, fangirl here, and I'll spare you the scream, but uh, General Leo is coming in Japan. Finally. I I'm fairly sure this is all the pressure I've been doing, uh, you know, in, in favor of having General Leo. I'm... It's I'm all because of your influence, Peter. Your, your bring, your bring General Leo campaign. Oh yeah, no, definitely. I, I mean, once you you've done the work I I did, once you've you have nine, uh, 18 episodes of a podcast, they probably don't know about behind your belt, and you say, "I want this character. I want it in six months." Well, guys, this is what they do. Uh, uh, yeah, no, seriously, I, I'm just super super happy, and I hope he doesn't suck because I'll be really really sad. Yeah, what well, I mean, what is what is General Leo going to have? I figure he's going to have guard and probably... Uh, a knight? A knight, I meant. A knight, and I, I yeah. don't know, probably like... Um, uh, what's her face? Uh, to, to do. If I had to to give him something, I'd give him exactly or close to what Agrias has. Mm. So All right. I, I already know what... Fair One enough. of his soul breaks will be. It's his super cool sword slashy thing AOE attack. So yeah, is is his other uh, soul break gonna be just dying? Yeah, I think it's <laughs> kind of like uh, what's his uh, what's his face Joseph, Joseph Noble Joseph, sacrifice. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's like your character die and the rest of them go on to win the game without talking about you once more. Yeah. But yeah, general real. So, Super. with uh, all Good. the announcement done and uh, my final, my victory over Dennis to Bornis, not to bring General Leo in the game, finally over with, um, what do you guys say we uh, go back uh, to what Ben was talking about and do a quick recap about the Soul Breakout that ended, what was it, like 48 hours ago? Yeah. So how'd you guys do? How much you spend? Would you win, uh, Ben? Why don't you start the conversation? Uh, I'm not really liable to say how much I spent, but just know it's more than I wanted to. But um, I mean overall, I can't complain. Uh, definitely, I I got four out of the out of seven Super Soul Breaks featured in the event. Um, so I have some serious uh DPS in my party now. I also got um Gilgamesh's Genji Blade. And Gilgamesh is a character that I use a lot because of his versatility. So this was nice to to get to just boost um, his usability. Because before I had just his katana. So now I feel a bit better about using him. Uh, I also got Yuna's Super Soul Break. So that's nice to kind of fill out her toolbox. Because I already had her Medica. So now, um, now I can feel really good about using her for... Magic mitigation. But really, you won't for... give us a rough number of how much you put down. Um, I mean, around two hundred fifty. Okay. All right. Yeah. Mark, yeah. how'd you do? Well, I made seven poles, seven eleven poles. It's fairly plus a three pole. 
and then the 500 gem pulls, so 85 pulls total. What? Over over the course of the well, 85 one single pull. So 80, I pulled 85 items, is what wow. I mean by that. Seven 11 pulls, one 15 pull, and five one pulls for a total of 85 items. So in that 85 items over banner one, two, and four, I got a heroic scarf, I got worm fang, I got a generic hat. Um, those of you who are watching can see that on my screen here. I got two of Cecil's Burst Soul Break Excaliburs. I got a additional um, Squall's Lion's Roar, whatever that sword's called, Twin Fang. I got Agrius's Defender Super Soul Break, Edia's Sorceress's Crown, and I thought something else. Maybe not. Uh, so in the end, yeah, for 85 polls, I think I got a little bit more than 13% five star. Something like 4% of my polls were burst soul breaks because I got two Excaliburs and uh, the Twin Fang. Uh, and then a couple super soul breaks to top it off. So pretty good, I would say. And what was your spending? Did you two, do it? Two pouches worth, two Leviathan pouches worth. Oh, so less than me. Yeah, makes sense. Six pulls. All right. So overall, I guess you're happy with what you had. I wanted uh, Excalibur, so I got yeah. it. Oh, oh, I also got. That's what I was missing. I also got two. Um, let me see if I can pull it up here. I also got two. Platinum shields, which means I now have a, and that's also what I wanted. I now have a seven-star platinum shield. That's pretty good. Also, oh, that's accessible. pretty so decent. Small boost to holy. Uh, well, yeah, no, no, I can pr pretty much use it on Paladin Cecil all the time. Yeah, I also Not, got regardless one of, those. of regardless of synergy. Now that it's seven stars, I'm trying so, to think if I have any holy damaging soul breaks. Yeah, even without without synergy, it's you know plus twenty attack and one hundred and forty three yeah, defense. Uh, pretty good evasion. Plus, uh, it is and ho or boost holy, and his sword yeah. is boost holy. So, if wow. you bring them both, uh, the sword and the oh, shield, it's pretty nice. Yeah, super boosting. Yep. All right. All right, Pierre. Time to tell us how you did. Uh, let's see. I went into the um, uh, the, the soul breakout with two objectives. There's two things I really wanted. The first one yep. was, sh well, th what I want were uh, the shout. Uh, I, I don't know which item gives that. I've got a blank. Platinum sword. Yeah, and I wanted Platinum to have uh, Sentinel's Grimoire uh, for, obviously, the shield. Yeah, so you were looking for offense and defense. Yeah, I was looking for a wall. I, I was kind of looking for either shout or a wall, uh, basically mm -hmm. to, to, to cover what I don't have because it, it's usually much better if you have one of them so you can take the other one as your roaming wire and everything. Um, truth be told, I went a little bit nuts and I didn't win any of them. Mm. Uh, and I did probably, let's see, I've got a spreadsheet where I, I got around 164 items total. Um, mm. Here's what I got. Obviously, it's not all negative. I got... Uh, da, 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 let me look. Uh, uh, Grand Armor for Remza. I've got, okay. I got uh, two Fairy Flutes for Ico. So that's that's actually pretty good. Yeah, I got, is good. Yeah, Sage Staff. I got two of those for Lina's. I got two Sorcerer's Crown. I got one Platinum Shield. Uh, two Yoshi's Bow. Uh, I got two Kogarasa Mashlapalu, um, the Vans sword. All one, right, yeah. Now, here's the good stuff. I got one Ragnarok, and okay. it's awesome. I really, really like it. It's just right. an incredible super soul break. It, yeah, that's it, cool looking. Uh, actually, is it? No, it's a burst soul break, sorry. Um, I got... Uh, the Yoshimitsu, that's uh, Tanks Creed thingy. 
and I got uh, the Twin Lands, which is uh, Squall's Burst Soul Break. So overall, that's pretty much all I got. Now, I was a little bit pissed because considering everything, you know, I figured I didn't have much uh, five stars, you know, with 164 items. So actually, my three, the three last 11 item pulls I did had zero. Um, yeah, I saw that tweet and actually got a lot of traction with people. You were really mad. I was <laughs> mad would be the understatement of the year, but then, so then what I did is that I, I, I figured, you know what, I'm going to write an email to Dana. I'm going to rip my shirt over it. Uh, someone's going to pay for all my mistakes and all of that. So I did a spreadsheet, and I, I took all the screenshots I had, calculated everything, and here's what it gave me. It, it Basically, I had 11% of 5-star, 25% of 4-star, and the rest around 63 were three stars. So, at the end of the day, when I took a uh, you know a couple of breaths in and out, I didn't do so poorly. I, you know, usually the uh, five star threshold is around thirteen yeah. percent. So it was lower than expectations, but I, it, it, I guess it wasn't anything that terrible. So. You know, I got over it. Uh, my party is much better now, much stronger. I actually cleared all of the uh, Final Fantasy VII battles that we have right now earlier today. I cleared all of the Final Fantasy XIV battles. And, and so overall, you know, once I got past the fact that I didn't get what I wanted, I actually didn't do so bad. So now, you know, it's only, um, it, it's only getting over... The, uh, the shame of uh, all these jams but one thing's for sure uh, I'm not doing that ever again gems Same. yeah get gems are over I'm not even doing 100 gem pulls anymore well Pierre uh, uh, you can look forward to uh, because the support nightmare dungeon is next maybe on your <laughs> 25 uh, mithril pull you could get shout there ah that would that would shout be and, and sentinel grimoire that's right? true. That, yeah. that that would be pretty good. I'm actually saving my mithril now. I think I've got plenty of stuff anyway. Yeah, me too. But uh, I would say, <laughs> all things be true, I've got 700 good reasons not to do gems anymore. So, yeah. Yeah, it sounds like your investment this year is good. <laughs> it, it it was. Uh, how would I say? Impulsive. Dina, Dina, Dina thanks you, but not by actually thanking you. Or yeah, no, no MVP. I can guarantee you, <laughs> no MVP went my way for that. Um, so no recognition. So if it's a money thing, and I, I know it is, uh, the MVP barrier has to be incredibly high. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, well, I'm overall, sure. I'm sure know. it takes a while for them to. And I'm sure it has to be over concurrent months. Yeah, uh, yeah, who knows, but yeah. But uh, overall, you know, once the dust has settled, I am pretty happy with how things are. So, eh, what do you know? Mm-hmm. Very good. Uh, so, uh, let's move over to Lord of the Cracks and uh, the Ultimate Battles. So, we've got sure. e- Ifrit and the second coming of Titan. Uh, so the first one, Ifred, Lord of the Inferno, is, um, usual, you know, he's, he, he doesn't have any major, um, uh, vulner- vulnerability. Uh, one of the major points you want to have, bring fire resistance gear. There is a whole bunch of them available, especially, you know, uh, in the, uh, uh Geisel Green Exchange for another 24 hours. And um, any special points you guys want to bring? Uh, I mean, there's just so much fire-resistant uh, accessories at this point that, um, like, the battle at first seems like really big mitigation, but your accessories do a lot of that for you already. And, uh, like, wall and protect gun shell are just the, like, the icing on the cake at that point. Mark? Yeah, I think, he, I think even without... Uh, Sentinel Grimoire, he's doing both of these bosses. If you have the items on your characters, 
they're doing three, four hundred damage with their major super attacks, their AOE super attacks. And for an ultimate battle, that is not a lot. So, yeah, man, if you have the accessories, and that's why we talked about the accessories, and I did a video on the accessories, and, and I wrote post. an article <laughs> on the accessories, because <laughs> the accessories are a big freaking deal. And if you mess those accessories, you might pay for it in the future because these ultimate battles are much, much easier. And this is, you know, there's no synergy, right? I mean, how many of us have any good Final Fantasy XIV synergy? There's very limited synergy in Final Fantasy XIV, even with these two additional banners. So, Well, you'll have like you, one or two weapon, maybe an armor, but yeah. nothing for the old group. Right. So you have these accessories, though. It, it makes it or breaks it. And there's there's no tricks to either of these bosses, but if you had the accessories, made tons of difference. Okay, and uh, what about the Infernal Nail? Anything uh, particular when that thing comes up? Kill it. Yeah, uh, kill it dead. Kill, kill it, it dead. Very, very dead. Very, very I quickly. Don't... Yeah, I mean, save your, I guess, save your soul breaks or your DPS until it appears and, and smash it before it goes. Yeah, it. Um, if you does, if you don't destroy it within three turns, uh, the group magic damage of the next hellfire gets a massive boost, and there's a uh, middle criteria for killing it in three turns. So I think you know it's kind of unav yes. unavoidable. Yeah, you need to kill it, kill it fast. So there you go. Um, moving on to Titan. Uh, this one is depending on who you speak with, is either very easy or impossible to beat. Uh, what was your experience, guys? Somebody uh, thought this was impossible to beat. I I know a lot of people, even in Slack, had a whole bunch of trouble with it. I mean, the first step is obviously to equip your uh, earth-resisting equipment. The Zephyr Coats and the Tremor Earring will help out and a lot. And then there's the new one that you get from the event. Yeah. Uh, but that might be for beating him. <laughs> no, it's actually uh, from... I think it's from Ifrit, honestly. Uh, oh, okay. so it, the Infernal Bangle? So there are... Yeah, the Infernal Bangle. Yeah, it so comes are, from okay, Ifrit. Ifrit. So there are actually five Earth Resistance accessories, Tremor Earring, three Zephyr Cloaks, and the uh, Inferno Bangle. Yeah, don't be shy so, to give up your 30 attack. Uh, oh, it'll geez. definitely help yeah. to not no. die. <laughs> and I see a lot of people just talking about this. I see a lot of people like trying to max out their character's attacks. I mean, yeah, I can max my Cloud. You know, we're in Final Fantasy VII. I don't know how much... Cloud has currently what I'm playing right now, but um, but you know yeah I can max him out to like 550, but that doesn't do anything for my damage gain because with shout it only needs to be 394. So anything over 394 is just wasted. If I'm using accessories that are attack, if I'm using um, you know if I'm using armor that's you know just attack armor and not giving me good defense or good resistance or you know, empowering, you know, elements or something like that, you know, I'm just wasting it. So make sure you're not, you know, going over a lot on your attack score if you're using Shout. Now, if you're using Shout and Hand of the Emperor or Apocalypse Shield, you know, you really need to think about how am I using my attack? Because, you know, if you have a whole bunch of guys at 400, 500 attack and you're using both Hand of the Emperor and Shout, you're again wasting a soul break let alone wasting, you know, items and accessories. So, hmm. yeah, I, I mean, mm -hmm. the I, obviously if you're a new player, and I was talking to somebody this afternoon on Slack privately, and, you know, they've, they've been playing around the same time as my basic account, about two and a half months now, almost three months. And I'm not, I'm not really sure that you should expect to beat ultimate battles, very truthfully, at three months in. I mean, we didn't I, have I don't think so. ultimate battles in three months. Um, now, I think you can do it a little bit faster than initially because, you know, if you pulled during the burst soul break, you had access to a lot better items. 
you know, but it still takes, you know, this person had Sentinel Grimoire. They had a good burst soul break. They had a couple good super. I mean, they pretty much had all the parts to having a really good team, but they still need some five star abilities. You know, they still need full break. They could have used Saints Cross. They could have used Power Chain. They could have used Full Charge. Could have used what better honed breakdowns, better honed life siphon, better honed shelga. You know, so you still need the the key abilities. You still need, you know, your characters need to be leveled up to eighty if you want to expect to beat an ultimate. I mean, yeah, don't don't go in with level fifty characters and six yep. multi content. Um, yeah, bring bring in your A team and make sure your A team is your A team, uh, and don't worry about it, man. If you've got you know, if your stamina right now is like 80 or 90, you've got a lot of content to work on. And that means you have a lot of mithril to get. And that means you have a lot of pulls ahead of you. So do the regular content. Do the elite dungeons. You need power greater uh, greater any orbs. Do the elite dungeons. You need more stamina. Do the elite dungeons. Do the daily dungeons. You know, don't, don't worry about trying to spend all your time and energy on the ultimate battles. Uh, you might just not be able to do them yet. Uh, and yeah, work your way to do them. It's fine. And, and it's the prizes normal, for the yeah. ultimates aren't the prizes for the ultimates aren't that great. Yeah, it's you know, more the, just a, like a victory yeah. wall. It's like yeah, the, I'm the able reason to do this now. yeah, the reason that there's ultimate battles is because there's players like me who get bored because there's nothing hard. The reason that there's Sid missions is because now there's players like me who are bored of ultimates and we need something else. So they're giving yeah. us you know Sid missions. Uh, and there's players above my pay grade who who are so bored they're doing all of that with core only characters, right? So no, no, that uh, honestly, that's a whole other level that I'm not even close oh, to I mean. thinking that's, of being in. Way way above my pay grade. Um, yeah, I mean, so if you can't beat it, you can't beat it. But oh, let me say this: on Titan, uh, I believe you can hit and run Titan. So. Uh. Uh, and there's a couple of the big bridge battles that they're no no longer active, right? But um, you could have hit. Bridge is still up. Uh, I think no, they're done it, now. It shouldn't. It oh, should... what they just closed? Yeah, they just closed. Today. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they just okay. closed. Literally half an hour ago. Yeah. Dang. Um, well, rip me. But I, you might be able to hit and run. You might be able to hit and run Titan. So if you're just close on DPS, if DPS is your issue, then you might be able to get away with hit and run. But. Um. If not, yeah. Keep working on the regular material and yep. try the next one. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, honest and quite frankly, this is another battle where you do not want to go in without uh, hurt resistance gear. Uh, honestly, if I remember correctly, I was able to get Titan down and I had one character left and. You know, I, I wouldn't have made it out without the, the earth resistance gear. So it, it's w- like Mark was saying, it's one of those things that's just even impossible to consider without uh, proper gear. So there you have it. Okay. Um, and we have banner two of uh, that event. Uh, let me jump back from. Oh, that's uh, right. Japanese uh, Final Fantasy Record Keeper to the Global One. Oh yeah, we've got um, so this features the Super Soul Breaks for the first two 14 characters that were introduced Shotle and uh, Thancred. Of uh, Shotle we have the Omni Rod. Oh my god, I keep flipping back. Uh, which gives her Ethereal Pulse which is it's Mighty Guard, right? That's the same as Mighty Guard 8, right? It gives protect uh, shell and major region to all allies. That is correct, Mighty Guard so, 8. Basically, Ishatola's directly competing with Tyro for the spot of maximum mitigation. Now that Tyro has the Keeper's Tome, um, and Ishatola has Stone Skin, and now this, and a Medica. So, <laughs> pick your poison if you want to choose each obviously this is a fantastic uh super soul break yeah yep next we have uh thancred's aaron ives which notably add a small boost to wind damage which will help out with his super soul break jin chi tan which deals four was 
four physical wind attacks to all targets and grant haste to all allies. So it's a pretty good Hastaga and um, AoE wind, which gets boosted by his weapon. And, uh, yeah. It's a knife, so it's not as high on the attack power as other weapons, but hey, you can make it work. A five star weapon's a five star weapon as long as it's not, like, um, a thrown weapon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thrown weapon can actually be pretty useful if, especially no, yeah, if it's a synergy is. weapon. Uh, hey, ninjas can to... use thrown weapons? Yeah, yeah but yeah. nobody right. uses ninjas. <laughs> I don't know. When I said thrown weapons, oh. I was referring more to like the magic type ones that hope or run yeah, right. yeah. Right. All right. Moving on, we have uh, Papalamos, uh, Wizards, Fatasos, which gives him a swift cast Fyra, uh, three fire attacks to all targets, and re reduces the user's magic casting time, which was seen earlier in Sarah's gloves. Uh, it's a really interesting status, or like yeah, a buff. Which I really like. Um, and the short time that I used Sarah, it was really helpful. It was definitely a noticeable speed boost. Um, especially if your character already has haste. You can just keep churning out those uh, magic attacks. Which is very nice. <laughs> and uh, we see the return of the healer's rope and the ninja chainmail. And uh, yeah, that's all that's new for this banner. So have you guys pulled on it? I have not been pulling on the 14 stuff. I just no. don't like any of the characters. I did not pull on it, no. I had Thancri I have Thancred's, um Ninja Chainmail, but I'm just really not that thrilled about him. It's like, yeah, he has a really interesting toolbox with, like, Bard and Ninja stuff and Thief. But it's like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Again, I'm, I never played 14. I don't plan to anytime soon. <laughs> oh, come on, Yuffie. Slow this guy. I'm fighting Kadaj right now in the plus plus battle, those who are watching. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw the text from my wife, but. Uh, <laughs> I did it. Was it dirty? If only. Uh, no. If only Thinkreed had um, five star combat so he could full charge power. Uh, or power chain. But sadly, he does not. That would make the Twitch chat a little bit more exciting, huh? Yeah. Blue pictures. What? No. <laughs> I'm not talking. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't pull me into your perverted conversations. I'm young and, and impressionable. We're oh, married. Boy. All right, uh, let's move on. Wait. Uh, oh, the, like, the rev um, so, reviewing this banner... <laughs> Hey, now that the first banner. soul break is finally over, um, I can get, start giving other <laughs> banners proper reviews. It's pretty good. Um, definitely, this is the banner to pull if you want to use a shot. Well, obviously, on the last banner, had, it had stone skin. But um, this time around, you can get um, the Omni Rod, which is excellent on defense, and the Healer's Robe for her, giving her um, a nice Medica, literally. Uh, so yeah, I say if you are looking to put Yashatla on your party, uh, pull on it. Maybe if you've pulled other stuff for Thancreed, but other than that, this is just like a banner dedicated to those two characters. So, uh, I don't know. A solid 3 out of 5 for me. Uh, personally, I want to save my Mithril for other stuff, but if you're dying for 14 synergy, go for it. All right. Yeah, especially with that Rydia banner on the way. Yep, oh, yeah. Yep. Coming shortly. Oh, I'm going to break a record or a level cap here of Barrett. What level okay. is well, Barrett? Well, oh, welcome to, welcome to level 80. And Sid, too. My good friends, welcome to level 80. Oh, d deal significantly more damage with an arm weapon. What a great <laughs> re record materia. Wow. I, I hope to get that one. Oh, here you go. You see this? Deal significantly more wind damage. That's that, SIDS. That's already way more useful. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Moving on right. to uh, Shirtless right Sephiroth, the second coming. 
Yeah. Um, event uh, since yesterday. It's a, it's a pseudo. Um, well, no, it's not a Advent Children event because it's a, it, the battle. It is. Draw it's a. Cr it's a crossover event. Yeah. It's Final Fantasy VII and Advent Children. The last, the bonus battles are all Advent Children. Oh, I haven't even seen them yet. Yeah, well, I, I've been playing, so I just beat Yazu and Laws, and I just beat Kadaj. That's and now cool. I'm fighting. Now I'm fighting Reunion Sephiroth. So. Oh so, well, yeah, no new characters this time around, but uh, we have the record materia for Sephiroth, which allows you to take his shirt off. <laughs> Man, it doesn't even give him like a cool angel wing or anything. It's kind of lame. So I haven't played seven for a couple months now. Uh, those remember in the very first episodes, I was talking about how I was playing it uh, on my phone during my commute to work. Uh, but is the shirtless Sephiroth really a thing? Because I, I, um, I don't remember that. I'm not gonna gung ho try and Google shirtless Sephiroth because I'm afraid of what might come. Um, that might be yeah. There's super gonna be a lot of. Oh no, yeah, yeah. In in the battle, like the one on one battle between Cloud yes. and Sephiroth, that happens. He has a shirt off. Yeah, he takes his coat coat off. Yeah. Now it, in seven, or it's called in seven. Yeah, in seven. In seven, he leaves his coat on in Advent Children. It's called Executioner Wardrobe because That's when you're ready to execute somebody, you gotta take it off. Is that so did he canonically have his shirt off when he killed President Shinra? <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, that he had to have because he was executing people. And what he about Aerith? And spoiler, but honestly at this point wow. there's an expiration date you. on that. Well, he was he was wearing he was <laughs> spoiler. <laughs> well you know the theory that Cloud actually just drowns Aerith, so <laughs> oh. Sephiroth didn't have his <laughs> Sephiroth had his coat on, therefore the theory is correct. That's I right. had never Sep heard that Sephiroth one before. Wasn't even there. You've wasn't never heard that theory? There. Nope. How if you look on the body where Sephiroth stabs her, it doesn't hit any vital points, and Sephiroth and Cloud just lies her down in the water and drowns her. <laughs> like she's not dead. Give her a high potion. Yeah. Seriously. Finish you down, that people. One. Well, Let's move on, shall we? No, that's awesome. I, no, I had never heard that before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's just funny how you, your characters can take an endless beating and a phoenix down brings them back. But, you know, yeah, one like, sword oh, no. through the body and nope, dead forever. She lost the will to live. Oh, yeah, can't, that's right. Can't, can't phoenix down from that. Plot, or, plot armor only gets you so yep. far. That's right. It's kind of like um, Luke Skywalker's so, mother and uh, Leia's mother. Yeah, no, you know, she had yeah, lost the will to Padme. live. Padme lost the will to live. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. She was also choked. <sighs> so uh, even though there were new, no new characters this time around, there were record spheres introduced for Cloud and Sephiroth. Um, Yay. We are still unable to access the second tier of of record spheres but notable are um upgrade for clouds uh he's able to use five star spellblade abilities so it's a bit nice um and on under the samurai sphere he gains a paralyzed resistance and he gains access to three star knight abilities which eh, unless you're doing a hardcore retaliate strategy <laughs> but by the time you have enough record motes to unlock Paladin level 5 and get 3 star knight abilities, I'm pretty sure Retaliate Draw Fire is not your strategy. <laughs> That's true. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's some um, maybe. some solo fights you want to do. That, there might be with Cloud, I guess. I'm just theorizing yeah. here. I don't make the game. I just try and draw inspiration from it to do crazy I'm, stuff. I'm, pretty, so, I'm right? pretty sure I could, I could get Cloud to uh, attack 590. With with upgrading them all the way. I remember so, yeah. when I pulled when I pulled the six star the the six star the 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 um the shared soul break from the six realm that gives you draw fire and protect. That's like one of the best shared soul breaks. I got so excited. I'm like, yes, this meta will clearly last forever. <laughs> it is. Uh, all right, and then uh, looking at Sephiroth's spears, uh, he gains. 
a bonus to samurai ability, uh, just generic stat boost, boosts, and uh, plus 6% darkness ability damage and blind resistance. So uh, pretty good. I definitely recommend going under the War Mage uh, spear first. Um, Ivy says that uh, actually in Twitch chat, she says that actually Retaliate draw fires a meta against Sephiroth Ultimate. Well, I mean, that's nice. Yeah, not, uh, he ha his major attacks ignore it. Oh. Against his counter. Well, his, his, what? Yeah, against his counter. Yep, that's correct. Yeah. All right pretty good yeah so so he you can you can draw fire retaliate to mitigate his counter attack and also it prevents him from casting haste on himself all right nice so it is, it is a, a nice um oh I, I have that in the notes that we were going to talk about here in a few minutes yeah well oh, sadly crap. you won't be able to give cloud draw fire uh uh no <laughs> this time around since you don't have any yeah. four star modes uh -huh. All right, so let's talk about those uh, plus battles. First one being uh, Midgar Highway with uh, two bosses. First, you've got up the Yazoo uh, with the Shadow Creepers. It's all physical attacks, uh, but actually, like we were saying, no, that's that, um, that's that's incorrect. Oh my! I who wrote I believe. this outline? Jeez. I believe. Oh, I, I'm I'm going from the the movie, not the actual game. Um, let me look here. Because because <laughs> ya, Yazu is the. Oh no, it does say he uses physical attacks. That's weird. Well, because Yazu is the guy with the gun, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if but I shoot Laz, with a gun, Laz it hurts does... physically. <laughs> well, that's yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, but deep. but La Laz is the. Uh, I'm looking he's, at, he's the, the, at the page guy. right now. It's saying everything's physical damage, Mark. So yeah, no, no, it does. It does. Everything's physical, but um, so La but Laz is magical attacks, which is strange because he's like the hand to hand guy, but oh, apparently whatever. he does magical damage anyway. Yeah, so yeah, Yazoo's all physical attacks, and the creepers are all physical attacks. And if you use retaliate, you can ignore their they're stupid attacks, but yeah. they're all weak to slow. You can poison all of them. You can silence all of them if you want to. You don't have it doesn't do anything. Yeah. And the and creepers are weak to fire, but I just ignored the creepers. Yeah, you don't attack. have to kill them to end the battle. So. So, that's uh, so yeah, kill Yazoo. He's pretty easy to kill. Slow him, kill him. And Laz is the same way, but he's um, he does both physical and magic, but his AOE attacks are magical, so. Do we say that both oh, uh, these bosses were weak to slow? They are both weak to slow. Yep. And yeah. there's actually middle uh, objectives for slowing down. Oh no! Wait. No, there's thought, not. No, there's it, not. It's another battle. Oh, you have to you have to reduce Yazoo's attack and reduce Laz's attack. So yeah, you just have to bring power break down or full break and reduce their attacks. And if you really are having trouble with Laz, you can um, bring lightning resistance accessories. Because that's his magical attacks are lightning. Mm. But if you're having trouble with laws, you probably don't have a lot of lightning resistant <laughs> accessories. So. True. Yep. And that brings us to Kadaj. Le Kadaj. Different than Kuja, but both very well groomed. He uses magical and physical attacks. He is weak to slow, and you can poison him. You need to slow him and reduce his attack for magic, uh, for metal conditions, mastery condition. If you bring Cloud, he says a little, you know, spiel, which is fun. Him between him and Cloud from the movie. Yeah. And he's not particularly difficult. So uh, I, I've been playing with a synergy team. So uh, I have my full synergy team, Cloud, Zach, Yuffie, Barrett, and Aerith. Uh, so they certainly didn't have any problem with it. I'm sure if you bring your A-team in, you're not going to have any problem with it either. And that brings us to the one I don't quite have enough stamina for. I think I'm at like 30 stamina. And that is Reunion Sephiroth from the video clip. Now, yep. you you know there's little there's little movies for some of these events, right? Yeah, I've been watching. 
they don't automatically play though. I don't know if people. I remember when that. they used to like for the Fang event and for the first yeah. Sephiroth event. They played. yeah. So if you go if you go to the event screen down under event rules, completion rewards, there's a little movie. But if no, you've I seen played for me, no, oh, it played for you. you oh, it, never, manual. it never plays for me. No, yeah, it, it, it played for me. That I, I remember Click. very well. Okay, well, Canadian App Store, I guess, is one up on us down here. Wow, it's like I'm really watching Advent Children. Why would I watch Advent Children, Skip? <laughs> yeah, I, I remember hey. seeing that, hey. so it definitely played for You've me. You've never seen Advent Children? I haven't. Are you serious? No. Are you serious? Dead serious, I didn't. All right, viewing party after the podcast, everybody. I, I love Advent Children. <laughs> Mark, Mark's going to stream Advent Children for us. <laughs> all right, are we still on the second bonus battle? Yeah, uh, so right. <laughs> he uses all physical attacks. This is uh, Reunion Sephiroth. He can be slowed, and slowing is a metal condition. He has a powerful AoE interrupt attack, which uh -oh. in which he drops a building on you. Oh. And in his weak phase, um, oh, he, he just does that when he goes into his weak phase, so bring Medica or healing. Draw fire, as Ivy said on the, uh, I'm sorry, on the Twitch chat. If you do draw fire plus retaliate or any soul break that does the same thing, that will help against his basic attacks and his counter attacks, which also prevents him from hasting himself. So, yeah, that's a good mitigation. It doesn't help your DPS, doesn't do any damage to him, but helps uh, mitigate some of the damage coming in. And beyond that, it's just uh, do damage. Break him and keep attacking. Thank and spank. Sounds good. And next week we will update you guys on the ultimate battles. And we will have Sid missions for both ultimate and ultimate plus battles. So yep. prep your all Final Fantasy VII party versus the Turks and versus ultimate Sephiroth. So look forward to that this Saturday. Yep. And we'll cover them as usual next uh, Wednesday. So most definitely. Okay, let's see what All we right. have here. Let's move on. Oh, are we gonna? Shall we cover the banner? Yep, banner it's all one. yours. Go ahead. All right. So this features um, Sephiroth's Burst Soul Break Reunion with uh, let's see, Masamune, Masamune Shinuchi, Shinuchi, oh, whatever. Uh, pretty unique about this one. It, first of all, it's AOE. Uh, on activation and the burst uh, commands are despair, which uniquely pierces uh, defense. It's not obviously the uh, like the what is it called, the crushing blow, whatever the monk ability is that pierces defense. But this is nice to have as a burst soul command. And then we have a standard four hits um, with uh, perdition's flame, four physical and non-elemental attacks to one target. So yeah, um. Pretty standard burst soul break, but I don't know. After the burst soul, burst, uh, soul burst soul breakout, sorry, uh, I don't know. Burst soul breaks have kind of lost their luster. Um, I mean, it's obviously really good if you use Sephiroth, but uh, like the after... defense, the defense ignoring attack will have some utility against some upcoming bosses. Very they have exceptionally high defense, but yeah. it's very situational. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's a high-strength katana. Uh, not sure what else to say about it. Uh, moving on. Apocalypse is old. Shotgun is old. Uh, Aerith's Fury rod, Prism Rod, which gives Fury Brand, which temporarily raises the critical hit chance of all allies a large amount and enables each ally to avoid one magic attack. So, uh, it's the same as, uh, Jack's Super Soul Break and the Critical Hit Raising, and also gives you Magic Blink. So it's a pretty good utility. It's uh, strange that after a character gets their Super Soul Break, they're still getting new, just unique Soul Breaks. But it's fine. Uh, I like it. It adds some utility. Kind of sets Aerith apart from other, uh... Other healers. Now, now that she has two blinks available to her, uh, Dragon Force, which is his physical blink, and then uh, this Fury Brand, which is Magic Blink. 
That's nice. What else? Yeah, oh, if uh, you have if you have a native that? wall and a native shout, this is kind of an interesting roaming warrior choice. Oh yeah, definitely. With the Kritka plus Splink. Are people seriously calling it Kritka? Kritka? Critical Ka? I don't know. That's lame. <laughs> we'll find out a better name for it. <laughs> anyway. Um, then we have Sid's uh, Partisan, which gives them the Soul Break Dragon. Pierre, would you like to say it with me? The what? Would you like to say Sid's new Soul Break with me? Uh, partisan? No, wait. That's the that's weapon. Not it. That's the weapon. Sorry. Uh, let me check real quick. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I don't want to oh. mess it up. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just gonna, gonna Yeah. Three, two, one, dragon. Dragon. No, sir. All right, I'm you're getting better. Dragon. Remember the first time when I had to when you were struggling? Wait, what? <laughs> there was one time where you were like having trouble pronouncing dragon. Dragon during the podcast. Dragon. Help you out, dude. <laughs> really, dragon, the word dragon, seriously. Yeah. Whatever. Moving huh. on. Um, four ranged physical wind attacks to one target and lower and uh, imperils wind, which is pretty good. Oh yeah, and uh, Genesis SOC is remarking on the uh, the Luke von Fabre on the video right now, and that is my Skype profile picture. Who knows? Maybe I'll change it next week to another Tales character. But uh, back to Sid. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, it's pretty decent. Um, we haven't seen an imperil wind yet. So, uh, I don't know, we'll synergize with, uh, Thancred's Super Soul Break. I think Genesis, uh, in Twitch chat likes you very much. Yeah, he's remarking that Luke Funfabre is a very whiny character for the first third of the game. No, I think he's talking about you. Yeah, no, but he's remarking that because of my Skype profile picture, the character and I scare share similarities. No, because but, uh, before he even said that, he says, "Ben, stop complaining." Yeah, I don't know what I'm. I don't know. Is he complaining about me explaining the burst soul break and how? No, he, I don't he can't. He can't. He's not listening to the live stream. He's just on the chat. Oh, he just he's, he mentioned he's, that. So he's just, yeah, he's so he's just coming I'm on the because oh, so he he him. wanted to listen to the podcast, so he just I'm came on to. To troll you. I'll ban you. So hey, <laughs> Genesis, whenever you're listening to this, uh, hello, we say hi. Okay. So he's probably uh, smiling you two can harass right now. Me. You two can harass me in the live chat if you join our Twitch stream every <laughs> week. Twitch.tv <laughs> forward slash FFRK Central. Come and annoy me. Uh, That's every a great Wednesday. incentive right there. 9 p.m. EST. And uh, yeah. Also on our Slack chat. So, so does that bring us to Q intro music, Final Fantasy news? Well, I mean, uh, I gotta give need, a Q to the banner. Oh, you score. haven't rated the banner? Uh, I mean, it's the only burst soul break available now. So if you're going to get every single one, you may want to get this. There are some, there are like, I'm looking and there isn't a single bad unique soul break on this. I mean, Apocalypse is nice. Like, uh, Cerberus Shell is good. Fury Brand, as we talked about. Uh, Toy Soldier, surprisingly. Lots of people bad. have said it's really good. So, uh, yeah, I think right now this banner is a solid 4 out of 5. Um, it's just a bit higher than the 14 banners, since it has a burst soul break. But, uh, I don't know. After getting 4 burst soul breaks in my party now, I don't see any reason to uh <laughs> to draw on it but yeah definitely it might be good for some other people and frankly final fantasy 7 synergy is a whole lot more useful than final fantasy 14 synergy so very true that is true there will be more final fantasy 7 events oh there yeah plenty more plenty more Okay, so uh, let's uh, take a break from Final Fantasy Record Keeper to talk about this week's sponsor. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, to talk about uh, something else going on in the Final Fantasy world. Uh, there's a new game that's been out for about a week now called Final <laughs> Fantasy Brave Exitus. Uh, so that's um, yes. FFBE uh, 
for uh, those uh, FFBE. Yeah, FFBE. FFBS. FFBS. Yeah, that, that's what I'm. That's what I'm referring to. It. Oh, FFBS. oh I get it. There Dude, we go. this guy's got jokes. Uh, uh, so those watching on Twitch, I've just I just loaded it up. Um, wow. So let's see. This should be called um, mm. Final Fantasy downloading because that's pretty much yeah, all that's... it does. And <laughs> that was right my now, other thing. <laughs> right now, I'm gonna call it Final yeah, Fantasy sure. crashing because that's exactly what it just did. Uh, right. Guys, before we get into the, the, before we go into the structural integ- integrity of this game, how about we talk? I don't know, just how it differs from Final Fantasy Record Keeper. And uh, well, I've I've heard now I I'm not an expert and I've certainly not played the other game, but the same company that makes this game Un- Uni or something like that, right? Um, they ha- their main game is called All the Bravest. Is that the name of the game? What, they made all the bravest. All, yeah, all well, whatever. What I think it's it's that all the bravest. Wait, it's basically you made that this, Final Fantasy game that was terrible. Well, that's is that that's not a Final Fantasy game, is it? Yeah, it's a no. Final I'm Fantasy thinking of Final game, Fantasy All the Bravest. Or are we thinking of something different? Oh, maybe. Well, I, I've heard from people that this is a reskin of another game this company made. Like a, it, it's, it's not, a re- it's not called all the bravest. I can oh, brave, you that. brave frontier, brave, brave frontier. frontier yes. So, so yeah. this is kind of a reskin of that game with final fantasy characters. So Makes if you're sense. familiar with brave frontier, then you kind of know this is a big money sink kind of game. Yeah, see, <laughs> Apparently brave, lot. brave frontier is kind of a money sink kind of game in that to be basically to beat the best content. You need to have spent some money. Um, it, it, I, like I don't think opposed, it's competitive. Yeah. As opposed to Final Fantasy Record Keeper, which has a very excellent uh, difficulty curve in its core dungeons, uh, this is Brave Frontier is bullshit. <laughs> in that, like, without five stars, fairly immediately, you are done. Um, well, it, I, I've been. No, I played. I played this. Uh, FFBE. Uh, I played it for about a week, and then I just re-rolled because I did some research and got got enough under my belt to feel comfortable re-rolling. Uh, that's another name you can call it: Final Fantasy re-roll <clears throat> to get the good characters. It's not so much about the stars; it's it's more about the specific characters. Yeah. So obviously, you know, if you get a, so I re-rolled for Van because Van's one of the better characters. He's got full break and thief, uh, steal abilities okay. uh, so he's considered a, a top tier character x death is considered a top tier character uh there's a there's a handful of other characters that are considered kind of the top tier uh characters in the game uh so it doesn't matter if you get a five star version of them now if you get a five star that's better that's just going to save you time right but you want the character and then it's it's pretty easy to level them up from three star four star etc but certain characters can't go above four stars. And so that's one of the reasons you want characters like Van, because he can eventually go up to six stars, right? So now, but there's also going to be events that come out that you can draw during those events at a better chance to get new characters like Cloud or Sephiroth All or right. whoever they go. But yeah, that my main problem with the game is the money grab, the gotcha in the game is if you want to play... Oh, thank you, Ivy. Van, Bart's X Death, Cecil, Cloud of Darkness. Those are kind of the top tier characters right now. Uh, so if you're rolling, those are kind of the characters you want to make sure that you have, or at least one or two of them. Yeah. Um, I, I also have Creel and Shantanto. They're considered decent characters as well. Uh, besides the main characters, you get at least three main characters, new characters that are unique to this game. Uh, but yeah, so so the money grab is basically if you want to play the characters that you like from Final Fantasy, you it's a random chance to get them, and you're going to have to spend some money. Yeah, so I'm going to ta- um, just read off a tweet that I made about Exvius that uh, people agreed with me about. Um, I said, Final, Final Fantasy Exvius is bad. It tries a lot of unique stuff like town and dungeon exploration, but the foundation is just inherently, and I used a colorful language, uh, it, it's bad. So what I mean by that in that tweet is, um, it's like that the style of 
like core gameplay, the combat, just isn't inherently as fun as ATV battles. You, you, you know, do you guys kind of know what I mean there? Yep. Like I get it. It's it's not like it's Final Fantasy in the sense that you have the monsters, da 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 da, but it just felt really generic. Like well, it's still also, it's still ATB. I mean, selectability is. I mean, it's turn based pretty much. Yeah, no, it's right. It's turn based, then mashing all the characters to have them do their stuff, and like, wow, look at all these really nice sprites, except they don't look that great. But then, like, they're just all layered on top of each other, and it's just a mess, you know? Yeah, they're doing it right now. If the you watch on the stream, the presentation I just don't like, and also. The story I just could not care less about, you know. Like it's, it, it's a generic Final Fantasy story it's so, so far. So generic. Even like I, I made mean, the point that like Record Keeper gets straight to the point, and I get more invested in Tyro as a quote unquote character than the generic placeholders right. in X. It's like in the intro cutscenes of Final oh, Fantasy Tyro. Record Keeper, just the charming like visuals. I get more like <laughs> invested in like the. Can, the, can I just the, say? The can I just say? As the game has gone on, I, I like I like how Tyro has become more bitter and more angsty, like in his conversations, even tutorial conversations. Oh yeah, he's a lot like, more sarcastic. Mon. Like that's how it's potentially <laughs> exciting. I love that. That last no, that yeah, sounds Tyro has become a little bit of cheeky, exciting. which I like. But just like the way that they introduce the characters, like, okay, Dr. Mog is out there to steal your money. But like yeah. you still they're likable. Like, I don't know. Just no, the, I, maybe I, it's like the art style as opposed to just like the muddled pixels and then the the, the anime profiles. And I'm not a person who hates anime. If you haven't downloaded and play, I mean, download, play the game. Don't spend any yeah, money on it yet. Try. But you don't know, take download. Like, uh, no, it sucks. Yeah. Don't bother. Like, try it. Download, out. I might play be the game. But wrong. the basic the basic story is you have two knights, uh, Laswell and Rain. They're your two knights. Maybe. From a kin- kingdom, right? They're and they're on an airship from a kingdom, and their kingdom is attacked by a mysterious man in a mysterious large man in full plate mail, and how, what is attacked? The Earth crystal is attacked, and so of course they're going to have to go from continent to continent, making sure that the crystals are safe, and that's that's you know Final Fantasy one two three. Four and five. That's pretty much the story of those. Those, you know, which is fine. Um, and I, you know, I, I wouldn't mind if it was a unique story, even if it was a generic story. You know, I, I, I don't hate the characters. Laswell, Rain, Fina. I mean, they're fine. Um, you know, it, it gets. You know, you, you have some dungeon exploring. There are side lots of side quests. The animation, the little videos for the summon creatures are beautiful, right? Um, I don't know if you've seen those, but they're beautiful. Uh, really, really cool. Um, the summoning uh, videos. They don't do anything, but the videos are cool. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, if, if it was just that, fine. But, again, you know, my major problem with it is, oh, if I want to play somebody that I like, oh, it's going to cost me a lot of money and I may not be able to do it. For Final Fantasy Record Keeper, I can play all of the characters till my heart's content. That's true. It's more about, you know, if I want to spend money, it's more about specific relics. And I can that's play true. all like, of the that's another thing that just That's another thing that made me mad. It's like, oh, you draw for characters. Great, so I can get the same character twice and, like, waste, waste resources on that. And, oh, you can power them up together. That's another thing, like, that bugs me about other mobile games is, like, the, you're the uh, archetype, whatever, gameplay style of you get the characters in the draws that's something i don't like and that's what i like about rel- uh, about record keeper is that instead of you get the characters through gameplay guaranteed or as guaranteed as you can get at your skill level and then it's all about the equipment which is drawn and i like that a lot better yep definitely agree with you guys so I guess uh, we won't be starting a Final Fantasy (laughs) uh, Brave Exitus podcast anytime soon. Uh, I'm not going to delete it from the phone just yet. I'll I'll probably keep playing it casually, but um, a couple people have said it's nice when my uh, Final Fantasy record keeper stamina is loading. I can go in and uh, (laughs) search a dungeon. 
right? <laughs> this game's really good while you're waiting for your other game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, at that point, I just... Uh, and it's Ivy's fault. Uh, I'll say it right there. Uh, Ivy on Twitch and Slack. It's it's her fault. She takes the blame for that. But when I'm waiting for stamina, I just load up the Japanese FFRK and do some dungeons in there. So, you know. So, while I wait for Final Fantasy Record Keeper, I play Final Fantasy Record Keeper. That's that that's it. There you go. Okay. That's so, our uh, opinion, I guess. And uh, just really briefly. Uh, touching on this is not Final Fantasy related, but Pokemon Go was finally released today. And if ooh, you live lad. in New Zealand, no, yeah, it's out in America seen... now. Well, yeah, I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's not in the Canadian a- iOS oh. app store. That's for sure. The only app well, store that has it is the New Zealand one. You might want to hold off because uh, I don't know. The launch has been really abysmal. Um. There's just not, like, people have complained that, um, like, it, obviously it sucks battery because you're using your camera, you're right. using your location services, but there's yeah, so just not people, a whole lot to do. For it people was, that don't know, you, you like, go around your regular area, like, yeah, you go around, like, you know. You go looking for Pokemon, pretty you much. You go looking for Pokemon, like, in your house, in your yard, I like, in the city. Around. Yeah. It, and it's just, like, there's nothing to do in the game besides just catch a Pokemon and look at it. It's mm-hmm. it's a bit disappointing, yeah. and it sucks battery life. And uh, people who got a, um, a crack of the game, uh, who downloaded it first, their devices are now being blocked, and they're unable to download <laughs> the, 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 um, the official app. So, uh, oh, that's fun. But, That's uh, kind of scary. <laughs> you know that certain certain people. Uh, I've read it. Uh, I've read some uh, something in the news today. There's, there's actually certain uh, people who got hit by cars or stuff like oh, yeah. that because they weren't looking Look as they oh. went to grab their Pokemon's. And there was actually a city where they said, "Stop going into the post office with your uh, Wait, I the saw police one office." From a police station, yep. which is like, "Please don't go into the." Police station looking for Pokemon. Exactly. So I'm, I'm sorry, but I heard there's a Charmander in the police station. <laughs> I'm going in the police station. Oh. Rest me. Yep. There's <laughs> going to be accidents, and you know when the when they make reports, they're gonna say cause of that Pokemon oh. Go. God, it's crazy. No, I, I just wanted to talk about that on just how not to launch uh, a mobile game that has been hyped up. For so many months, as like you are the Pokemon trainer. Oh wait, it's really boring. <laughs> well, in, in how about how not to launch? They should have taken a lesson from Final Fantasy Brave Exodus. Yeah, I I, I, I lost count of how many hope. apology items they sent for oh, yeah. uh, unplanned maintenance, downtimes, and all of that. So at least it works, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's just terrible. That that's the only difference. At least right. when it wasn't working, we could have our hopes up. So, so let's move on to back to uh, Mark. To, uh, you wanna uh, do this week's roundtable introduction? Yes, we have a discussion topic from our friend Matt, who is also on Slack chat with us. And his question is basically, which medica is best? Now, I want to begin by saying. The obvious answer is the Karaja, the the highest level Medicas, are better than the Cura and Cure Medicas. Yes. For example, a Super Soul Break Medica is generally better than a Soul Break Medica. And you can see that by, of course, in the description. Does it heal a small amount, a moderate amount, or a large amount? Basically, is it Cure, Cura, or Curaja? Curaga, Curaja, excuse me. So... Putting that aside, obviously the Super Soul Break cures are the best. Medicas are the best. But among the Super Soul Break Medicas, there are at least three various types that we have seen thus far. And those are Medica plus Regeneration, Heavy Regen. Medica plus Blink, generally Magic Blink or Physical Blink, one or the other. And then Medica plus Re-Raise. So what we're going to discuss tonight is which we believe is best, and hmm. we can either say that, 
or we can go by um, each of us maybe explaining why we or what we know about each of these. Um, and I will start with Medica plus regeneration. Now, I personally feel, in general, Medica plus heavy regen is best. Why is it best? Because you're not always going to have a, a physical character or a magical character that's doing magical or physical damage. So you can always use the heavy regen. The heavy regen makes it so that you don't have to use as much cure with heavy regen, sometimes you don't even have to bring healing magic. You can just rely on the regen and the medica. Uh, so I believe, and, and I'm not a fan of re-raise, but we'll talk about that. Um, yes, thank you, Purple. There's also the instant cast medica, um, which would be good too, but we didn't talk about that in our notes. You screwed up the whole show, Purple. No. Um, All uh, right, so show's over. On, it's Purple's fault. <laughs> Yeah, we can throw that on uh, Medica plus instant cast is kind of nice, too. But um, but among the general super soul breaks, um, I think Medica plus every reach in is best. Um, I have realms and I use it often on my A team, but it's not good against Unaleska. So uh, we can move on to uh, I know Ben loves Medica plus blink. What? Just uh, I mean, to make so, a small note here. It's not good against Unaleska because regen counters sap and be when you don't have sap you get trashed in phase three yes okay so um my general kind of feelings on medica is, is like what what do you want to heal a lot for is it like a safety net to top you off or is it to recover from a really big hit and for me it's to recover from like something that sets all my um all my all the, my party member is at like really low HP. It's like oh geez, I got I got a medica right now, and it comes out. It comes out. Yes, I got the healing. What do I want after the healing? Do I want more healing with regen, or do I want to be a bit safer? You know, and, I, and that's why I think Magic Blink is a bit better because you know, it's a safe it's a safety net that, so that you're able to dodge one more attack, so that um, one more magical attack. That way, you can kind of recover a bit faster from uh, that really big hit. Because even Kiraja's, if you're fighting with all level 80 characters, um, it might not heal all the way. So it's good for your physical attackers to have uh, like Drain Strike and Leeching Leap and stuff like that to really top them off. So it's nice that after big hits, you're able to kind of not worry about taking another big hit. Because, like, how far does the major region take you if you take two big hits in a row? That's why I think the magic blink is important. All right. Uh, personally, if, you know, I'm not as good as you two guys, um, for some reason I make, uh, I still make a lot of, uh, not dumb mistakes, but maybe inattention mistakes. And quite frankly, one thing that have uh, saved my poor bot a couple times is being able to not only use uh, AoE Medica, but also having that re-raise available. So when there's uh, a lot of damage happening real quick that I can't get, you know, quite the healing on, being able to re-raise at 40% or whatever, depending on the different uh, Super Soul Breaks, has been a lifesaver more than once so for me once I can get because there's nothing worse than having one healer he does your heal and then gets one shot and you know that your entire battle is lost because obviously nobody else has healing spells with only two abilities per each character uh, you usually don't bring more than one healer into the battle so having re-raise um, available casting it you know sorta early on maybe like a quarter half of the battle and knowing that you've got that special get out of jail card free waiting for you especially on your healer for me it's a lifesaver so that's definitely something to look out for if uh, like me you might be a less experienced player that uh, needs to rely on that kind of second chance yeah so basically you have, well, and, and I, we won't just say that we did that for the purpose of the show. There's three of us and there were three Medicas brought up. 
Uh, actually, I mean, I use the Medica Plus Regen, and I believe Ben uses the Medica Plus Blink, and Pierre well, uses the know. Medica Plus Three Race. Um, so that may have to do more with our pulls too. Uh, I, I'm guessing none of us have uh, Minwoo's me- Instant Medica, right? No, I don't. Uh, yeah, so maybe if we had that, we would use that as well. I do have Yuffie's Medica Instant Heal, so I like that quite well, a bit. That's proportional. But, but yeah, that's proportional, and it's very situational because Yuffie. So, yeah. So there you go. So you have three different opinions, and you can, you know, if you have all three Super Soul Break Medicas to go with, then... You can make the decision for yourself. Likely, you probably don't. So. All right. You use the best medica you have. Mm. I'm trying to see. And does that bring us to our mailbag? Q mailbag. Hey, just yeah, one second before we do what? that. I just realized in the Japanese client, uh, when you look at your uh, roaming wires, if you don't have a good selection in there, there's this little button that says reload. And bam, you press it, and I think you get an entirely new selection. Uh, okay. Oh, there's a, a refresh the deck. That's nice. Yeah, so let's say, because today, for example, um, I had I went into a battle where I didn't need Shout, and obviously what where the, the five first characters in my list, they were all Shouts. And when I was doing... I think it was the plus plus dungeon. Obviously, none of the ten roaming wires were uh, the shot ones. So I wish I could have had that little poop reel button. And there, what do you know? I've got plenty more. And so yeah, that's uh, some. I, I don't know how long it's been in the Japanese client because I just loaded it up uh, there two ago. But hopefully, that's something we can look forward to. Why not just cut out the middle man? And just be able to search for whatever one yeah, you right. want. Because it'd be too easy, I think. <laughs> well, <laughs> why? Why? Why would we want something like that? Yeah. yeah. All right. So we have a letter. A letter. <laughs> we we had post really? from Australia. Tails. Mail. <laughs> I'm just trying. I'm just yeah. At the FFRK at our office. headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> Our secretary received an excellent mail. One mail, please. Oh, we got an email from Derek, and Derek's with us. Hi, Derek. Hello, Australian Derek. Derek. Oh, Derek. I think you mean be on the call. I was about to be really scared. <laughs> yeah, he's here. Welcome, Derek, from <laughs> Australia. Uh, he's been working this entire time. Jeez. Someday we'll get him on. We'll get we'll get Derek on. I think after after we read like three or four of your mail, we have to have you on the show at some point, right? So basically, Derek's question is, how do you go about mastering Soul Break? So now we got, right, you all got a whole bunch of new relics, which is a whole bunch of Soul Breaks to master, including those Super Soul Break Burst Soul Breaks, which take a lot of XP to master, right? About 30,000 relic XP versus the normal 10,000 relic XP. So his email reads, as we've all basked in the glory of RN Jesus this week to some extent, what are your feelings on achieving Soul Break Mastery? Do you slam characters through the Sunday dungeons regardless of wasted XP on capped characters? Or do you make them learn new Soul Breaks through general usage and give up on Realm Synergy for a while? Hmm. Personally, I like well, to have them learn as quickly as possible, even if they're capped, because that means that after that I can uh, equip any weapon and, you know, go with synergy instead of, uh, you know, having to keep a less powerful weapon on just to have its associated soul break. But that's just me. Yeah, I run, uh, them, really- I run them through day- dailies and I run them through Sunday Dungeon, XP Dungeons. Regardless of their level. For me, it really depends on whether I want to use a character or not. Uh, during the Soul Break out event, I got a three of Ark's staff while trying to get Mirazmataz. And it's just I have no no need to grind that out. Uh, oh, so you, you do not... That's another, I guess, follow-up question. You do not master Soul Breaks for characters that you have relics but you don't use very often? Like, if they're just level one sitting in my hero record, I don't really 
care. Maybe the next yeah. when the next three event rolls around, because I drew Desh's sword, I'll level sure. those characters up, and then uh, I'll just master those normally. But I, I, I do, I do need. master. Um, I do try to master every unique soul break that I have. Wow. Oh, relic for so. Well, I guess one there's some that, differences uh, there. One thing that I've been meaning to do for a while, uh, I kept the um, like f three or four star items that have core classes, soul breaks like uh, the light rod for black mage, and uh, uh, I think there's like a bow something like diamond helm that has king's shield too, uh, stuff like that. S killer bow exactly with, for uh, a ranger. I need to get uh, the soul breaks mastered so I can dish out those items that are taking uh, useless inventory space because I never use them for anything. I don't know if you guys have mastered those. Yeah, no. Did you keep the item or did you just get rid of it? Uh, I'm sorry, what were you talking about? The, the... Uh, Final Fantasy Record Keeper mobile game. You might have heard no, no, of no, it. No, 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 no. The, 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 were you talking about the White Mage? Yeah, I'm uh... I'm talking about the crappy items that we got, like Killer Bow that has uh, Steady Shot 2 for Ranger, Feathered Hat yeah, the... that has Double oh, Cast Thunder. Um, I think I kept those around for old times' sake. Let me look. I'm a computer. I'm a computer guy. Everything me. Uh, there's the Red Mage one. There's the hat. There's the harp. Did yeah, I kept it. them around. Did you master them? No. <laughs> They're just sitting there, you know. Wait, what's case. your inventory space right now? 200. On? Out. Mm? Right uh, now, it's 179 out of 200. Mark, what's yours? Dad, Dad, what's your inventory space? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Anthony. Uh, yeah, my boys just came home. Uh, my my inventory space is at four hundred. Wow, double mine. That's it's too much. That's what too it's much. At. Okay. Oh, yeah, I might... think two fifty would be kind of a sweet spot. Mm -hmm. I'm going to yeah. talk about it in an upcoming basic episode. So, okay. if you want to catch me on basics, YouTube, FFRK basics. I just want to always keep around the special seasonal items you know, that we got. You know the 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 Halloween event, the the Christmas event. The New Year's gun, stuff like that. I always like to keep, you know, just to look at them when you have, uh... you know, to remember the good old days when, whenever, when Super Soul Breaks were coming out, everyone would be like, "Oh, those would cost two of the Soul Gauge. That would be balanced and fair, right?" Nope, everything costs one. Yeah, I don't know if they're ever, ever going to move forward with these. And in... I think it's like a. Um... A mechanic that they decide to go, you know, go against. Yeah, it's just like why bother having everything cost one segment of the soul break gauge? Even freaking bursts, man. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Totally different topic. Somebody send us in a question about that. But uh. <laughs> so, but yeah. unless you send us an email, we cannot talk about it on the nope. podcast. <laughs> Please enable us. That's what we're asking here. Yep. All right. Um, Mark is currently uh, away from microphone, and uh, I think we're kind of in a wrap right now. So yeah. we'll do our usual round table. Um, oh, uh, Purple says that Ealing Grimoire costs two. So. Oh, yeah, that's right. But he, it does? Really? I, I believe you. But that's so out of place <laughs> for such a crappy Medica by Jeez, today's standards. Not another reason not to use Tyro, really? It, it, no, 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 no. They're raining on you, us. You always put Dr. Mog's teaching on them. Whatever. <laughs> uh, no, that's Celebration Grimoire. Yeah, that's uh, one. <laughs> no, that's not. Let's see. Let's see. So Wait, many magic. items. Uh, yeah, no, I don't have it anywhere. Um, I'm sharing. I'm sharing it on the stream. Oh, yeah, it costs too. Wow, and welcome that's, back. That's strange. But it's the highest 
heal medica in the game. It is? It is, yes. Hmm. Are you sure? I am positive. Well, okay. restore a very large amount. I haven't seen a lot of very large uh, heals for Super Soul Break. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I think we've uh, went above and beyond that subject. So uh, that's going to be our show. That's going to be a wrap for us. Um, again, if you like what we do, if you enjoy what we do, we'd appreciate it if you can take a few moments to leave us an iTunes five-star review. Um, other than that, you can reach us at any time. The number one uh, place to get a hold of us is our super great and super friendly community, uh, the FFRK Slack chat. To join us and experience all the enjoyment of that community, you can go to ffrkcentral.com slash ffrkchat. All the information is on there. Otherwise, you can reach me on Twitter at ffrkcentral. My name's Pierre. You can reach Ben at etank88 on Twitter. And Mark can be reached at at Rev Mark Myers on Twitter, at Rev HP on Slack chat, and you can search my YouTube video series, FFRK Basics, on YouTube. And um, if you have any questions, comments, whatever topics you'd like us to talk about, roundtable discussion uh, suggestions, please email them to ffrkcentral at gmail.com. We try to, uh, as I've said before, I forward all the emails I receive to my co-hosts and we try to uh, talk about all of them uh, in our uh, upcoming shows. Uh, you can leave us comments on uh, the YouTube if that's how you're listening. On the YouTube, jeez, I sound like an old guy. What I meant to say is that you can leave us comments on YouTube if that's how you listen to the podcast. Um any way you wish to do it, we're super reachable, super easy to get a hold on, so don't hesitate. Uh, other than that, we'll see you in about a week on next Wednesday. That's going to be on July 13. And uh, until then, have fun, play safe, and uh, we'll see you in about a week. So thank you. Have a great week. Did I say we'll talk to you in a, in a week? Did I? Guys? Yeah. Okay. Uh, See you I was next sure. week. <laughs> All right, you guys have fun. Play, play, play responsibly. <laughs> I like that you threw that in. Play safe, but play responsibly. And don't if you have an FFRK me. problem, don't call play the hotline. FFRK in traffic. That's our advice. And uh, the advice of the week, and I've gave that one on FFRK chat. Uh, please don't uh, spark chat and change your tires. Uh, on an highway, your priorities might be wrong. So, uh, Mitron, if you're listening, this is for you. Hopefully, you got home safely. But, uh, all seriousness, this is our show. Thank you for being with us. We'll see you in a week.